stayed out here late last night and I got the ceiling fully painted except for cutting in I didn't think it was worth cutting in I'll save that for the uh, for the white and I also painted the back wall here and this wall right here this is this is the wall that adjoins the house so it's drywall so I got a coat on that as a primer coat and now I'm getting ready to paint the ceiling white I got uh, two gallons of white ceiling paint and I also got a couple of gallons of wall paint um, the wall paint color is a little bit different I didn't want to have the uh, the garage out here completely white so I went with a different color for that Okay, I got the ceiling all painted, uh, first coat of white, still needs another coat uh, to even it out a bit better. Uh, right now it looks pretty good, but uh, it'll only take me about an hour and a half to paint it again, so I might as well. Uh, I have started to paint the walls also, I've got the back wall here painted above the shelving painted and the wall behind where the sanding station used to be painted that's the outside door that goes out uh, to the front so this is the first coat of this color too this is a kind of a I don't know it's a yellowy uh, it's a good color. I like it um, in here. It brightens it up, but it doesn't make it that stark white. I, I wanted to avoid that on the walls. I kind of like the color that the OSB is for the main part, uh, so I tried to get close to that with the paint, except without all the you know the different colors in there. Um, here at the junction between the wall and the ceiling it's a bit of a ragged gap uh, I was as careful as I could be with the uh, with the fitting of the panels up there but you know to expedite the job you you will cut some corners and and in order to make this stuff fit you need some you need some space so that looks a little bit rough so what I did was I uh, I took some more of the half inch plywood that I have for the that I use to strap the ceiling with and I cut it into I don't know it's like a it's a corner molding it's a 45 degree cut on both sides and that'll allow me to to uh, nail that up in the corner and close that gap so what I'm getting ready to do right now is put a coat of paint on that now I haven't entirely decided uh, which color to paint it, the wall color or the the uh, ceiling color. Uh, for now I'm going to paint it the ceiling color because uh, that's the the most convenient thing for me to do. Um, but once it's up I can go either way. The main thing is that it gets a coat of paint right now before I put it up.